Hello everybody, it is Grammy season. Today we are going to be spending time sitting down and ranking all of the Song of the Year nominations. A lot of these songs we have heard before, a few of them I haven't. We are pretty much as accredited as the Grammys. I mean, if not more. If not more. Therefore, yeah. I feel like we can sit down. We're going to listen to the song all the way through. You won't hear that because of copyright. And then we'll give our initial reactions to the song. And then we'll rank it on this tier list here. The first song on the list of for song of the year is A&W by Lana Del Rey. What are your initial thoughts of this song? This is the first time I've ever heard this song in my life. First time I've ever heard it too, actually. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily my taste. It takes a long time to get to where it's going. I didn't necessarily mind the first like minute and a half of it, especially in those choruses. She gets a little bit of like Beatles type um, harmonies going. I like those. I don't mind her voice. It's super breathy, obviously. I don't think it's going to be my pick. Like I can see the merits of it and I see like a lot of experimentation, a lot of different tempo changes. There's some cool bass in like the third act of the song that's like traveling <laughs> ear to ear. Yeah. That's kind of cool. I think it could be shorter if I'll be honest. And that's coming from I listen to a lot of Pink Floyd, so I've seen some songs that could be shorter. My opinion kind of ends right when it's getting good. <laughs> yeah, not really my taste, but like I can see its merits. I think that, yeah, I think about three minutes into the song, I looked down and was like, oh, it must be getting to the end. And then I'm like, holy <laughs> cow, it's seven minutes long. So I'm impressed that a seven minute long song has been nominated for song of the year. I don't really... Yeah. You don't really see songs past like five minutes, I don't feel like much. No, I mean, it's like a... An achievement to get past three minutes nowadays. Yeah. So other than that, I don't really know what's going on in terms of the context of this album. And I have no idea what to expect from Lana Del Rey. I feel like this song took me on like a I musical. I thought it was going to be about root beer. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, maybe it was, it's about her favorite root beer. Not about American whore. Yeah. That's I, definitely the last thing I was expecting. That Especially is the, with the and. Why yeah. Is there an and in the title? Yeah. What does the and have to be? And that's okay. So that's lyrically. I don't really know what's going on, honestly. Yeah, I need to look a little bit deeper. Obviously, that was first listen, but like I, I didn't get much from it. I feel like it took me on a musical journey to places I yeah, didn't know I existed. Is very experimental. But yeah, um, I don't. I don't really know what's going on. It sounds cool, but I also don't feel like, based on the the. The thing that we just looked up in terms of the difference between song of the year and record of the year. I feel mm -hmm. like maybe this makes more, more sense, sense as record. a record of the year because it's not <laughs> necessarily about the song. I feel like it's more like the production behind it. So where do you where would you rate the song on this tier list here, with our um, our normal rankings of you know B being I an would A? I go C. It, it's not like I hated listening to it. Um, it's just so not really like my without, thing. Yeah, it's just it might be somebody's like favorite song. Like I could very easily see that it does a lot of cool stuff in there. And um, I'm sure I'm sure it's much deeper than what we're getting out of it. Yes. With first listen, I was gonna say that. Um, I'm sure there's like imagery and like some metaphor in there that we're not. It's going whoop, right over our heads. Yep. Um, but yeah. Next up, we have Taylor Swift's "Anti Hero," which I have heard exclusively on the radio at work over and over and yeah, over again. I'm no stranger to this one. Let's just dive right into it. Classic. You're a sexy baby. Um, the back track's really good, especially at the beginning. They have that cool, like, oscillating synth. I like the, like, idea for the song, especially after, like, I mean, obviously Taylor's been, like, vilified by so many people throughout her tenure as mm -hmm. the queen of pop, some would say. I'm not wild for the chorus, if I'll be honest. Yeah, I think production-wise... Uh, I actually really talk... like the production. I yeah. think it's the strongest part of the song. Yeah, production-wise, it sounds way more impressive than I thought because... The speaker at work does not do that justice. So I do give the song yeah. props there. Don't know what's up with the sexy baby thing, So, but it's all good. I don't really feel like the song really goes anywhere musically. No. I feel like it's kind of the same thing. I don't even think that like, any problems that started at the beginning of the song are necessarily like changed by the end of the song. I, I see why it's nominated. It's uber popular, obviously. It's TikToked to death. I think if we're putting A and W in the C, we're putting Antihero in the B. After that, we've got Butterfly by John Batiste. That song sounds like a hug. I really <laughs> like it. Aww. Um, it sounds like a slightly more like musically complex, like John John Legend. Um, I really like his voice. The the timbre of his voice is really really nice. Just the piano, nothing really else ever comes in. It's just super com comforting, super nice. Not necessarily something like I haven't ever heard before. 
but um very just very nice um luscious yeah no i agree i think it was a very beautiful little song and I, I do really like his voice as well. I think that it doesn't seem like it would fit for a song of the year. And so that's kind of how I'm trying to rank it. I think that if we were ranking it on something differently, well, I'm down to put it in the A for now. Yeah. And then. Yeah, I think it's an A. Next up on the list is Dance the Night from Barbie the Album by Dua Lipa. Oh, solid. babe. Very solid. What, are, what are the thoughts, Zandy? <laughs> Bring it in. Very solid. Just good pop music. Just good pop music. Everything feels like it's right where it should be. Her voice is nice. Just something you can dance to, you know? Like the bridge, a little of a TikTok generation song, a bit of a nothing burger lyrically, but yeah. it does its job. Dude, the bass line goes crazy. I didn't realize. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard the song in headphones until just now. <laughs> yeah, I think overall, a standard pop song right there. And unfortunately, in a lot of ways, when it comes to the Grammys, it feels like that's that's what's gonna take the cake. Might not be anything new, but it's elite at what it does. I think it's A tier, just like uh, that last Baptiste song. I would put Dance the Night above Butterfly, but I do think it's still a strong A. Yeah, I think they're in the same tier, but I, I, might, I might edge that way. So after Dance the Night is the absolute, ah, uh, TikTok song. Here's flowers. By Miley Cyrus. Let's hear <laughs> you it. You can go first on this one. Um, I, I'm. This is the first time I've heard of Miley Cyrus since the, the crazy era in like 2013, <laughs> just like dancing naked in front of millions of people. Um, I don't. I'm not a fan of her voice. Like. I think, oh yeah. I, I mean, overall, right? Like, it's a fine song. I'd put it in the C tier. I think overall it's fine. Not really my thing. It's not even has to do with just being overplayed, in my opinion. But I don't really like her voice. I think I prefer the Bruno Mars version more. I think to me that's where it kind of like it's an interesting take, but also I feel like compared to the other things that are on this list, it kind of lacks inspiration since it is just straight up pretty much changing the lyrics of our Bruno Mars song. I I, I don't really feel like her voice fits for this. I don't love her voice. I think that this is the best song lyrically that we've actually had on the list so far. I really like the like synths at the beginning. The bass goes hard in the chorus. The like effect the chorus that they have on their like guitars in yeah. a lot of the song. I really really like. I would have this definitely above Antihero. I like the sound of Dance the Night more, but like that song is just devoid of any like meaning. I might lean Flowers a little bit just because I do value that a little bit. So where are you ranking this? I'd meet you in the middle and put it in a B. Yeah, I'm good with B. I think that like if in all honesty, if I were to compare it to any of the songs here in terms of quality, I think I'd put it near Antihero in terms like overall. Yeah. Here's Kill Bill by SZA. I like that song. Really? Um, okay. It sounds nice. Um, the chorus is really, really good, obviously. That's the part that people have latched onto in the shorts TikTok world. It's not really doing anything for me lyrically. Um, the guitar at the end of that bridge is really nice. I like the pl plucky guitar solo in the back. Probably not something that I'd go and listen to again. I mean, I think it's a classic, you know, the TikTok song. Didn't know it. Yeah. Didn't know I knew it until I heard the chorus. So I'm wondering if like one of the main reasons this song is even nominated is because of the chorus and its popularity. Yeah. And I think, I mean, the rap type lyrics are pretty interesting and I do like the curve into the chorus, but lyrically not much of a fan. I feel like we've been listening to a lot of heartbreak songs and this just seems emotionally weak compared to the <laughs> others that we've heard. Yeah. Um, I do legitimately think that this one's like a C. I think it's like a seven out of 10. Yeah, I'd say that the chorus kind of carries it. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the verses. I like the bridge, but... Um... It's also incredibly short. Here we go. This is the the song from the Fortnite Festival, Vampire, by Olivia Rodrigo. Go ahead. Banger. <laughs> Absolute banger. God, that song is good. <laughs> Listening to that in the car, banging your steering wheel. Dude, my hand hurts after that song. So good. Man. I think it's the best vocal performance we've heard so far. I think it has all of the parts of the song that you want. It has that somber beginning. It builds up that bridge into that last chorus. Is just like everything you want it to be. Um, it ends. It has all of those staccato, like um, just like noise explosions. Yeah, I think for me, that's a pretty easy like S tier. This one deserves song of the year for me. I love this song. 
It's one of her best on that album, too. In terms of the songs that we've heard so far, this is the easiest winner and the easiest S tier because all these other songs they have, we've heard the classic pop dance song. We've heard some nice slow piano. We've heard, like, I would say the highlight of the butterfly is the vocals. A and W don't really, that's, I don't know what's going on there. And then Flowers and Anti Here, I feel like, are, you know, they're just classic, classic pop songs. And then Kill Bill, which is popular because of TikTok. But I do feel like when it comes down to award shows and music that should be awarded on the production and the vocals and the lyrics and everything as a whole, this song would make the most sense to be the winner or the S tier because the vocals won the goosebumps as she's building yeah. her way up uh, to the chorus. And then just the way that it's almost like there's like three different acts of the song. A lot mm. of what I've talked about in previous Tom 22 videos is my favorite songs are the ones that really start at a point and end at like a bar higher. Mm. And this is exactly yeah. what the song does. So I would agree that Vampire goes in the S tier. So the last song uh, that is nominated for Song of the Year is What Was I Made For? Um, by Billie Eilish and uh, her brother Phineas. I love that song. That is a really lovely song. I think it's either low S or high A for me. If there is a song that competes with Vampire, it's that. I just don't think that it has the diversity of Vampire. I might like it a little bit more lyrically than Vampire, but I think Vampire makes up for it musically. Her vocal mm -hmm. performance on this song is incredible. Mm -hmm. um, classic Billie, super whispery. I wish she would let herself free a little bit. Um, if she just like went to a little bit more of like a happier than ever, let herself belt a little bit. I know that it's for a movie, so obviously they they told her what to do. Um, they gave her her dynamics and everything like that. So it might not have been her hands, but like just if you went to like a bigger version of that chorus, I think it would hit really hard. Um, still, I think this is my, my second place song, like my second favorite song of that bunch. Even now, sitting here, it's just something about her voice. Um, yeah, it's magical. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, and it's really, like really, really. Nice. It really does yeah. bring a tear to my eye, and I definitely was crying in the theater watching Barbie, which I did not expect walking into that movie. I mean, I agree on second place. I would still place it in the S tier because there are. I, I do think that it is a strong contender. I think that it's either going to be between this song or Vampire. Um, my vote would be on Vampire. However, my prediction is that this song is going to win. I think that Flowers is going to win. It's easily the number one song of the year, I think. So you heard from us both. Our vote is Vampire. You think it'll be Flowers. I think it'll probably be What Was I Made For. Find out February 5th. So yeah, there's the tier list right there in front of us. Um, that's our it's pick. Objective. That's the objective ranking. Of those yes, songs. it is the objective. So of course, there are. Yeah, I mean, this is literally initial reaction. I mean, you can disagree for, with us. Yeah, but you're wrong. <laughs> yeah, this is the ranking and you're going <laughs> to like it. Thank you for watching. Give us your vote down below and we'll see in a, a few weeks what is chosen. So thank you for watching. Bye. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time.